I'm not a huge fan of referring to the old earth structures as the matrix. I, you won't ever see me um, talk, use those terms and you won't ever see me talk about it. Um, I have different references and different um, perspectives when it comes to humanity's evolution. And I think it distorts it to liken the current ascension path we are on to um, a movie with, um, you know, like good guys and bad guys. Like I, none of this resonates from what I've been taught. Uh, and so you just won't see me ever reference it. Um, and I feel like, again, that's become a tool that people use for like marketing and it's just got so much hierarchy and um, trying to point someone to be a bad guy or, or make someone out to be a bad guy. My perspective on humanity's evolution reminds me, and again, I came from like the classroom setting. I was a preschool teacher um, for about almost 10 years before I took on my first spirit messenger mission. And um, I see humanity's evolution more like, you know, going from kindergarten to middle school or middle school to high school. I feel like sometimes I feel like uh, in earth school, I feel like I'm, you know, I might be a senior in high school at this point or, um, you know, college student because I feel like I'm, I'm aiming to master. I'm, I'm aiming to master uh, this idea of evolution and ascension so that I can understand it better. Um, so that's kind of the way I look at it and refer to it. Um, and it, and it has a, a much less like triggering effect for people where things are good or bad or, you know, when I channeled this content from the divine, they showed me that our planet, you know, we understand that we are multidimensional, just like we're multidimensional, Gaia, Earth, is multidimensional. And so she has many different even versions of herself. So the Divine showed this to me in a really interesting experience that I had. I went out to lunch with, I moved to a new town, I wanted to get to know new people, and the Divine was like, yeah, sure, go to lunch with this person. She was in the spiritual community. And we spent the day kind of touring some different spiritual shops, having spiritual conversations, realizing and noticing like what we have in common. And we ended up out to lunch. And while she and I were sitting there, she was talking about how her experience on this planet requires her to have like a shield and a sword. And she very much resonated with being like with this, this warrior and having to like fight the dark. And, and I remember just sitting there at the table because that's not my experience at all. Like it's not my experience, like not at all. Is that my experience? And I realized as she's saying it, you know, I got to fight to survive out here every day. I'm under attack. Like as she's saying it, I can tell that she's creating it in some way, but in other ways, she's tapping into lower frequency versions of earth. Our earth has lower frequency, like a mid and a higher frequency. And when you're in a space like that, where that warrior got to fight to survive and, you know, people are trying to attack me, you're going to, your frequency is going to connect. It's going to match those lower realms, those lower vibrations. And then the reality that you're, that you're in the one that you're creating is just going to be more of that, more of that. And I feel like I had already, my heart had already gone through, you know, um, an ascension process in my awareness where I live a life of, and my son has had cancer twice. So I have to search for the joy. I have to find find, seek the gratitude sometimes. Um, I'm not saying nothing negative ever happens, but it just happens. And then we move on from it. That's my reality. So 
when you ask like what do I feel like it's going to look like moving forward it's kind of like a mixed answer for me I know where I'm going to be at I'm going to be in the upper realms the higher realms the higher dimensions that Gaia and earth has available to me I'm going to do my best a thorough inventory of my dialing in on my frequency where my mind is at where my intentions are so that I'm hitting those higher notes those higher dimensions where spaces of um, ease and grace and gratitude and comfort and joy and peace and balance where all those things uh, come to me easily and I'm feeling them easily if I decide to wake up tomorrow and focus on how and concentrate I mean really concentrate um, how negative things are um, I will I know I will slide and dip into those lower realms those middle realms of earth and and there's a lot of dysfunction there there's a lot of distortion there and there's a lot of dis-ease in there and there's a lot of heartache in there um my health is pretty phenomenal and has been since i started channeling the divine for the last you know uh well, it's been 2012 so it's been you know it's been a while um the only health problems i ended up have having came from the two year stint of being in the hospital with my son while he was going through chemo. And I, I just think that there was, there was a lot of, um, it was a hard, a lot of hardship I was going through and my body was like, yes, yes, you are. And I felt it. I'm highly sensitive to what I'm here, what I'm telling myself, what I'm affirming, what I'm believing. So I believe that my experience as the planet is, uh, evolving, I believe my experience, I'm going to work toward it being joyful, positive, and um, experiencing love, balance, harmony, reciprocity, peace uh, as much as possible. Um, I don't know that everyone will choose that because we are a planet of free will. And, um, you know, we're each a creator. We're each a God. So what it will look like for the person sitting next to me not sure um i know that every every action i take is a a step toward activism for the planet that i the peaceful loving planet that i desire to to live on what do you believe is the best way to try to hit those higher frequencies for someone that is new to discovering their gifts it can be overwhelming and confusing definitely i love this question um the divine i know it sounds like you see this in every like you know disney movie almost um truly let your heart be your guide whether you're talking about um new earth navigation or you're talking about your guidance your intuition let your heart be your guide is like number one and that's that's another reason why the whole matrix thing doesn't vibe for me because where in the matrix are we talking about your heart being your guide? Um, yeah, so definitely like getting comfortable tuning in and mastering that conversation. And this can be either with soul, self, like soul, it can be higher self, it can be source, because none of those three are going to steer you wrong. Um, source, soul, self. If these, if any of these that you're comfortable with are your like uh, points of connection for conversation, contemplation, um, you're, you're always going to go in the right direction that serves you best. Thank you so much for checking out this video today. Be sure to like the video, share, subscribe to my channel. And if you really had a wonderful experience on this video, I invite you to share your reflections in the comments section. I love reading those. And if you would like to explore some more of my juicy magic and medicine, please visit my website at newearthmagicschool.com and register for my email list. I've got some things that you're going to love exploring.
And if you would like to join our wonderful safe space on Facebook, we have a beautiful community called Be Your Own Guru. Until next time, bye-bye.